Hi everybody, since last time I traced my cow with a sharpie. You can use any thin marker you want to trace your lines, but I would recommend it's waterproof if you want to add watercolor on top. And for today, you're going to need some watercolors. You can get these at really any grocery store or pharmacy or art supply store. A cup of water, a paper towel, a paintbrush, and your artwork. And watercolor is really fun because you can wet the paper first in any spot you want there to be color. Pick any color, have some fun, don't worry about it. And the watercolor kind of explodes into the space wherever there's water. So if I want my spots to be blue, or maybe I can add some purple to them. The watercolor will kind of do its own thing. This is not watercolor paper. This is just regular cardstock that you might use in your printer. But if you use watercolor paper, which you can get at any art supply store, it would be better for the paint. It would move around more and do some really cool things. But you can get some of the same effect with um, just regular paper if you just want to try it. And I'm not rinsing my brush well. If you don't rinse your brush well, you'll still see some of that color. So I'm going to change the color over for this part of the cow. Get some more explosions in there of color. The more you have fun with it, the more interesting things you'll see. You'll see something different. If you don't want the paper first, like there, you can just fill in flat color. You can do that. If you prefer not to have color explosions, it is totally up to you. You can even add color first and add water after and see what happens. And then I'm going to pick one more color, maybe just... A little bit of dark blue to add some little dots of shadow in certain places where it might not get lots of light. And that's all there is to making this fabulous cow. We're going to add a little bit of grass. And we're going to call it a day. Have some fun. Paint a cow. Have a great day.